Hey everyone, it's the Dark Ketchup here. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Ether 2 on any version of Minecraft. Really, really simple. You don't need to download any .jars, any Minecraft Forge, any special mods, or anything like that. It's all straight up and really, really easy. So, Mac, PC, or Linux. First thing you're going to do, in the description below, go to the link I have, the first link I have. All right, the, the first one you see, which will take you to this, this, uh, this page right here, which is technicpack.net slash download, where you download the Technic platform launch or the Technic launcher, and you click on either Windows, Mac, or Linux. I would click on Mac, but I've already done that, and uh, I have it right here. Now it'll be t called Technic Launcher dot jar or dot exe. Or I think it's dot jar, but anyway, uh. For Mac, it's .jar. So anyway, the Technic Launcher will be there. I've put it on my desktop. But uh, once, you ha once you have that, what you're going to do is you're going to double-click and open it up. And the first time... So as you can see, Technic Launcher has appeared right there. Uh, now, the first time, you will have to sign in. But I've already signed in before on a previous... Or previously. So that's already been done. So uh I don't need to worry about that but the first time you're going to need to sign in and to sign in you will be using your Minecraft ID so whatever your gamer tag is uh and then your password um and you can see here a little picture of my face cuz I'm an assassin slime and uh it says dark ketchup and uh you would click play if you want to load all the different things now this is made by uh Yogscast so it's just a big collaboration of Yogscast so there's the tech it the hexit uh, Tech it Live, Volts, uh, Big Dig, Tech it Classic, the Yog Box, hack slash mine, and you can even load normal Minecraft. Uh, now that doesn't mean this is free Minecraft because you do need the account to do this. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then back to Tech it. But anyway, uh, basically what we're gonna be doing. Oh, sorry about that. What we're gonna be doing is once you have signed in. Uh, as you can see, you can scroll through all the different uh, different versions of the game that you are have available to play. So what we're going to do is go to where it says Add New Pack. Click on that, and what it's actually going to do, click on that again. Okay, and that says Paste Platform URL here. Just exit all that for a sec. So what that means is we're going to go to the second link in the description, which will take you to this page here, where you then can copy this link right here. Copy that, that technopack.net slash API slash modpack slash ether uh, hyphen mod hyphen ii half, uh, hyphen cow. So just all that, right? You want to highlight and then edit copy. Go back into the launcher, okay? And then you want to go, oh, sorry about that. I'm just trying to position it. Okay, you want to go to add new pack and then go paste or so. We go paste that all right and then it automatically showed up what you do is you click add mod pack there you go now there's no picture for it like on these ones there's all the fancy pictures and stuff for this one there's no picture because you've installed it but this you can see says ether mod 2 what you're gonna do click play for the first for the first time you load up it will take uh, a little while, or not a little, by a little while, I mean like a one minute or something, or depending on how good your Wi-Fi is, because it's downloading all the packs. That's basically a link to all this stuff. It's just downloading all the stuff right now. So uh, that's very cool. Up here, there's a couple of links just built in the Technic, la uh, Technic Launcher, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Steam, which is very cool. Um, all the different stuff, and we could even... Just load up normal Minecraft through this. So if you never want, you technically never have to use all the the Minecraft launcher ever again. And because you're logged in with your account and it already registers what my name is and my face is and stuff, all my worlds are registered as well. So you could load up your worlds and save them always in the Technic launcher, and you'd have all these different versions of the games, and you would never have to use the normal Minecraft launcher again. Um, but you could for simplicity. <clears throat> anyway, so. Like I said, the the reason I'm skipping this is because I want you to see in real time how long this will actually take. So, uh, yeah. Skip ahead in the video if you want to uh, see it finished. But anyway, if you're wondering how I'm like zooming in and stuff, I just figured this out because people were doing screen recordings would always like zoom in on something. Like, see how this technical launcher.jar is really small? 
and then they zoom in on it. it's like whoa now i can see it really big well the way you do that is you hold down the control option on a mac and then zoom in to wherever your mouse is it'll like zoom in towards that direction okay whoa loading just for the first sec it's gonna load don't worry about the black screen all right now let's pull this up so choose a main menu i'm gonna choose the ether 2 one launch menu all right and here we are so really simple here uh what we're gonna do you can go to single player create new world i'm just gonna make it uh creative and we're just gonna do ether to test okay so create that now, the reason I'm creating this right now is just so that you guys can kind of see that it's actually working. So, first thing you should notice is we have the book of lore right now in our... Yes. Is this the book? What is this? Materials and you. Oh, so it's not the book of lore anymore. Um, recipes, getting started. Look at that. A pattern chest, a pattern crafter. Isn't that cool? So yeah, lots of different stuff on how to build, and these are all the different things you can build in the ether as well, as far as normal Minecraft resources go, um, <clears throat> with the ether mod. Now it's a little bit laggy just because I'm recording this at the same time, so I'm just gonna quickly change my video settings for you guys. Uh, and these, what I'm doing right now is actually the best right here. What you see right now is the best for, uh, the best it keeps the same quality, but, uh, makes it as fast and as non-laggy as possible. Also, I have Google open right now, and that's going to slow things down. So let me just close that up for a sec. Okay, anyway, back to, oh, whoa, achievement school. Anyway, uh, if we click E here. We got to grab some glowstone. How do I find it? All right, well, glowstone. Okay. And then we also want a bucket of water. Now, the reason we want this is this is how you build the portal. And what I'm doing right now, you can just take my word for it and believe me that the ether mod is working right now. Or you could continue this video and see that it's actually going to work. There's a tree in my way. Okay. Build, build. Build, build, uh, build, build, build. Okay, there we go. Now, normally, if you had a big thing of glowstone like this, shaped like another portal, and put water in it, you just have water, a big water mount, a mound all over a pile of glowstone. But with the ether mod, ha! Huh, now we have the ether portal. Jump in there, it'll instant. It won't do the magical ripply thing, which is kind of a shame. It'll just go downloading terrain, and it'll only do this for the first time because it's actually generating the ether world now. One thing they need to fix: you always generate in the air. I swear, every time I generate in the air. But uh, good thing we're in creative because we can go check things out. Okay, yeah, we're in like the middle of nowhere. All right. Uh, so going forwards here. Take a look at what we got. Man, look at that. Awesome. Just gonna let it render up for a second because it's got all the stuff to render. We go down here. Look at this. Oh. Let me get up in here. And that's the all the different stuff. Now I don't think, okay, yeah, so unlike too many items, if you install a mod on too many items, most of the time those items from the mod will be in your too many items bar or uh, not enough items or anything like that. This one, if you don't have too many items installed in the ticket thing, then you can't hack your way, which is kind of good. Anyway, um, this is really cool. This is this is Ether 2, so lots of differences, subtle, but there's lots of differences. Um... What I'm trying to do, okay, let's go options, make it hard, because, oh, nope, what I want to do, I want to grab a uh, diamond sword, because I want to show you just quickly, oh, whoa, 
All right, it's laggy. I'll have to fix that. But uh, look at this. Let's kill it. These things are fast. Back here. Oh. That actually did something. Normally, that's weird. Normally, apparently, uh, or maybe it's just because he fell off a cliff. Normally, apparently, I thought diamond swords did nothing, and all the tools from the real world did nothing. So when you go to the ether, it's like you're just starting out fresh or something. Apparently, this is hurting him. Huh. In the old version, it didn't. I guess they've changed that. I guess people weren't fond of that. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, you see this works, and it's, it's ether. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, keep an eye out for my Let's Play, because that's why I've installed this. I'm doing a Let's Play of the ether. Yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.